When I decided to start collecting video games, one of my biggest concerns was game preservation. I'm someone who tries to take care of their games as best as possible, and when bought second hand I try to clean them up nice so I can add them to my collection. But about a year ago, I got the itch to do a Pokemon long play of the original Game Boy games on Twitch so that I could finally beat Pokemon Stadium using my own cot and raise Pokemon. The problem was, with the exception of my red version by some miracle, all the batteries had gone bad on my Pokemon games. For anyone that knows, it basically means your save data is gone, with no means of recovering it. It's a devastating feeling to see your progress disappear under these circumstances. I had already started taking interest in restoring the save capabilities in my Pokemon games, thanks to a channel I look up to a lot, My Life in Gaming, which, by the way, you should totally check out, especially if you're interested in getting the best possible video quality out of your game consoles. It was in that very same video that I saw a little device known as the GB01 by Submodule, and trust me, if you've got a decent sized Game Boy collection you'd like to preserve, this is definitely a tool you'll want to look into. Let's take a look at what makes a Submodule GB01 such an amazing tool. While I have been able to find tools that have helped me in preserving my games and save files, such as the Retro 2, I kind of wanted to shed a spotlight on this one in particular because of how much it has helped me with my Game Boy games. The GB01, capable of creating ROM and save backup of my Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games. The submodule GB01 doesn't come with much, in fact it's pretty bare bones when you look at it. It's basically just a PCB, or printed circuit board, with a cartridge slot for your Game Boy games, and a USB-C connection. It comes exactly how you see it. That's right, no enclosure, which has been a bit of a concern for me. For now, I keep it safely tucked away in an original Game Boy case when I'm not using it. When I first got it out of the box, it came in an ESD bag. This protects it from electrostatic discharge, so if you don't have a safe place for it, I'd suggest putting it away in the ESD bag and then in its original box. On the back of the GB01, we have some artwork of the Great Wave off Kanagawa, and I think it looks pretty cool. It's also the part that would face forward if you're storing it in a Game Boy game case. The rest of the packaging comes with a 3-foot USB-C to USB-A cable, a disclaimer note, and a thank you note. Now that we've seen everything that the submodule GB01 comes with, let's see how it performs in action. To get started, we have to go to submodule.co. From there, getting the software is super simple. Head on over to their manual section, which is located at the bottom of the page. As of the time of this video, version 1.2.6 is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux x64. Using the GB01 is pretty self-explanatory. Connect the USB-C end into the GB01 and the USB-A end into your computer. From there, go ahead and run the software. It's important to note you should clean your carts before plugging them into anything, especially if it's been a while since a cart has been used. It would be a good idea to take a Q-tip with some isopropyl alcohol and clean out the connectors. My recommendation, and really anyone trying to maintain the health of their carts or systems, is to use the highest percentage you can get for cleaning your cartridges. I personally use 91% as that's the easiest and highest I can get regularly. Once you're sure your cartridge is clean, go ahead and plug it into your GB01, and after a few seconds the GB01 will give you some information about the game that's currently plugged in. The GUI for the GB01 software is as straightforward as it gets. Once a game has been identified, you're given an image of the box art for the game that's currently plugged in. At the bottom of the screen, you can see options for downloading the ROM, downloading the save, or uploading the save. The download ROM option allows you to download the game from the cart to your computer as a standard file. This file can then be played back on an emulator, or software that's designed to behave like the hardware of another system and being able to run the ROMs. It could also be placed on a flashcard, such as an EverDrive, to be played on hardware. 
The download save option allows you to make a copy of your save file and download it to your computer. This is great if you're trying to replace a dying battery in a game before you completely lose your save file. In just about all cases, once the battery is removed, the save is gone for good. But with the GB01, you're able to back up your save, replace the battery, and upload your save file back to the cart. While I haven't had any issues with officially licensed games, I've had hit or miss luck with reproduction cartridges, so your mileage may vary in that department. My reproduction copy of Shantae is accepted, but is not identified. It'll dump the ROM, but has issues with the save file. On the other hand, while the DX reproduction versions of Super Mario Land and Super Mario Land 2 were not identified, I was able to download the ROM file from each game, as well as back up and restore the save to Super Mario Land 2 DX. In fact, I was able to migrate my original save from Super Mario Land 2 to the DX reproduction cartridge. When testing out the Final Fantasy 4, 5, and 6 sound restoration reproduction carts, they were picked up by the GB01 as their original counterparts, so again, it may be hit or miss. By the way, I'm not advocating for piracy in any way. This product is clearly intended for people that are in need of backing up their games for various reasons. Please do your best to support the companies that make the games we love. But the submodule GB01 can do one last cool thing. The Game Boy Camera was released in 1998 and allowed you to take pictures using your Game Boy system. When plugged into the GB01, you will see slightly different options. These options allow you to extract pictures taken on a Game Boy camera for you to save onto your computer. Keep in mind, the pictures will be in their original resolutions and you'll be given the options to apply a color filter. These are some of the pictures I was able to extract from the Game Boy camera that I edited together into a collage. For what the submodule GB01 does, it's relatively inexpensive, coming in at 45 euros or roughly 50 dollars plus the cost of shipping. The cheapest shipping for me was 18 euros or around 20 dollars. What else can I say about the Submodule GB01? This is easily a product I'd recommend to anyone looking for ways to back up their old carts or saves for preservation or restoration reasons. The selling point for me was the ability to back up a save without fear of losing it. I really liked the interface and how easy it was to use overall. I know I've used it plenty to help me replace the batteries in a bunch of old Pokemon games that I plan to stream later on, so to me that's already worth the buy. So what do you think? Is the Submodule GB01 something that interests you? Do you have other solutions that work better for you? Or are preserving your save files not that big of a deal to you? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'd love to hear about your experiences with and how it has helped you with your Game Boy games.